on this episode uh, we are traveling to abuja nigeria to support a friend who came from the diaspora from the united states of america to buy property in abuja um, she decided to gradually move back to nigeria with the husband so they started the preparation so i'm taking you to abuja as we are flying uh, this is me videoing capturing uh, in the plane when we're going i had to do covid 19 test this is my covid 19 test when i was coming from europe and i had to do covid 19 test when i arrived in ghana then also i don't know when you get to the airport there are some film forms you need to fill online and submit to all that then when i was also going to abuja i had to go to confirmatory what do you call it um 37 to do covid 19 tests so then also i need to do covid 19 tests or pay for it online before i get to abuja that's 39 500 or that you put your passport information and all that your phone number um, or you pay it into with your credit card or your atm card which is more expensive which is a uh, hundred and or uh, five dollars um, so uh, when you get to Abuja to choose the hospital that is going to do it so at the airport trying to get my flight then when I get to Abuja I had to do get some haircuts because uh, I have been in Ghana for some time now and my hair was becoming rough so get some haircuts rush to the hotel then the next day on my way to go and meet the friend so that we can go and check the house and the property out uh, they have already paid for the property so just to check it out and support them with the little knowledge i have in property so as you can see this is the building you are trying to fix some cameras uh, abuja or nigeria as a whole the security is very tight so uh, you need to put in the security measures this is a compound there's a backyard when she put tile uh, pavement there we're going to show you before the pavement how the backyard was like so these are some little renovations going on here and there she decided to you know when you buy a house it is your property so you can decide to break it adjust it put more rooms or add uh, some adjustment and some things you want to do renovations that you want to do if you did you think that architectural work you don't like it you can work on it as you please so you see the master toilet she has decided to um, toilet and bath she has decided to work on it and put on some things i think she's putting a jacuzzi or pressure pump uh, shower that shower that when you're standing and the pump is coming the, 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 the water is coming it comes like a bullet uh, so maybe the stress you know when you are tired it massages you and it comes like a pressure uh, pump when you go to the car wash so that is a renovation still going on there we we're supporting her while she was doing all that so it's almost done putting in the tiles in the bathroom and putting everything in place as i was saying concerning security in nigeria as a whole is very serious so when you have house especially when you're coming from the diaspora you need to put your security in, me in measures in place putting security locks putting cameras for record's sake if somebody thief can jump into it not even an armed robber as it is now there are kidnappings and all that this is a chandelier in the hall you see we are putting everything then we kept on doing it so this is how the house is going to look like in the night that's a compound she put in some flowers and some trees and all that so that's what we brought in the camera guy the tech guy to come and fix in the camera so he was now pointing out where the positions he was going to put the cameras so we put in cameras we need to put in security logs we need to put in the door camera so that if somebody is by your door and your camera upstairs or the camera that is put up couldn't catch the person or couldn't get the key picture clear the security camera by your door who record it and she was trying to make it a smart home so of course smart homes where you enter in and you talk to alexa it up it puts on the ac then it puts on the light then it puts on the tv you just speak to alexa then alexa off the tv 
then you can even decide that uh, when you're on your way coming home you can decide to send a voice note on your phone to alexa then alexa will put on the ac preparing the 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 the, the, the room pending your arrival so this is a very smart home which is also another thing that i'm gonna talk about feature it on my channel here for some maybe another time so basically the camera guy is really uh, trying to see how he's gonna do things he was brainstorming with his guys and how he's gonna go about it yeah so this is the house this is um, a terrace apartment it is three of terrace apartment the building is together so uh, you buy your terrace which is your apartment it's a four bedroom terrace apartment then somebody also so in the same compound but different houses or different apartments and one of these apartment is going for about 120 to 150 million naira 120 to 150 million naira in dollars i'm going to calculate it i think it's about 300 if not less two fifty thousand dollars yeah so somebody came from the diaspora to decide to come and buy a house like this money is good any money you're making in the diaspora try and come and get your own property in africa because it is very 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 necessary you need it no matter whatever thing you achieve abroad africa is your home so you understand so this family has decided to get their home when when before now when they are in abuja or when they are back in nigeria they stay in a hotel or they stay in service apartment or airbnb why would you need to waste money in apartments when you can buy your own house if you have the money so this one is when we went for uh, window shopping that is to get the furniture to furnish the place and some painting and some interior decorations so um this is uh, the the interior decoration stuff so you see some painting that was bought and those paintings are lovely if you have money <laughs> you need to make the your house like paradise and this particular friend of mine has class and taste so you could see that the things that she will put or they will put in their house an average person you shouldn't worry yourself you cut your coat according to your material don't follow somebody don't compete with anyone if you have the money why not spend it but if you don't have the money don't stress yourself these people have the money if i tell you the job they are doing in america you'll be shocked they have properties in america not even in, in, in only in america in other places in the world so you see that when it was furnished the the, the 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 painting you saw those paintings and the furniture that we went to see so the furniture and those paintings has been brought home the kid was around so we decided to put cartoon and you see the way the, the places very superb you see it so these people are really enjoying life here so this is abuja for you you could see this home you will never think it's it's it's, it's, it's africa I don't think anybody living abroad will even live this luxurious life like this. You see that four in one furniture, very big and giant. So on the next day, uh, I think two days later, was a party, a birthday party of a friend. So we had to go and support. So we went to support the friend on the birthday party. You could see it was a classy birthday party, three course meal. People came to enjoy dance and it was very very nice but one thing that i observed in, in in abuja in nigeria here is that you see nobody's wearing masks it was only me and i'm the one recording it was only me that was wearing masks and they were just looking at me as uh who, who the hell is this guy what does he think uh, he's forming you understand because where i'm coming from if you don't wear masks you can't go to public places you can't go to shops and order and these people are just here Enjoying themselves, though they don't care about COVID 19 or Omicro or whatever they call it. They are well just enjoying. Nobody's wearing masks. You see it. So, this is the night life in Abuja, even though it was a friend's uh, birthday, and we went to support the friend. And it was fun. Seriously, it was fun. Seriously. Very, very wonderful thing. 
yeah nightlife in abuja is very nice but you need to be security conscious because uh, you can be kidnapped you can be robbed and some people may end up losing their life so it's nice it's fun but you need to also be security conscious and make sure you have protected yourself but then the next day i think i had to go and check one of my properties in abuja land beside that land i saw this building and i said let me take a picture of it because it looks similar to the apartments i'm building in Accra, and the size and also the shape a little bit closer so after that i had to go and visit some family friends we took some pictures in some park and i'm on my way to Accra because i'm down in abuja and everything i came to do i came to see some deals here too so subscribe and be part of the family i will update you on the apartment we are building in Accra. And the land we went to buy in Sugar Kope area, we'll tell you about it.